The one is a two to four player game. To play, you will need a think square, fraction tiles board, and a full set of 50 fraction tiles. The aim of the one is to collect the one tile by trading or taking tiles during your turn. Each player starts with two 20th tiles. During your turn, you can either take a tile that you already have in your possession or trade for one that you have the equivalent amount of tiles to trade for. So for example, player one might trade their two twentieths for one tenth because one tenth is the same as two twentieths. You can see it here and you can probably see it there as well. So those two twentieths get discarded and they're no longer part of the game. This player can now pick up tenths because they have tenths in their possession. This player might choose to take another twentieth because they have twentieths in their possession, they can take another twentieth. So this person has more in total than the other person, but they can now pick up greater amounts each turn. So they will pick up a tenth for their turn. This player might pick up a twentieth. Now they have the same amount of tiles. This person will pick up another tenth. So now they've got three tenths or 30%. And this player might pick up another twentieth. And if you're clever, you can work out that this is equal to a quarter. So next turn, this red team can take those 20ths and trade them for a quarter if they like. We'll trade two tenths now for one fifth. So we've kept the same amount, but we're getting bigger tiles each time. This person's going to trade all their tiles for a quarter. And if you want to prove it, you can lay them out over top of the quarter just to make sure that it's exactly right. And it does need to be exact. You can't trade amounts that are unequal. So that's right. We dump those 20ths. They're not part of the game anymore. And this player gets a quarter. This player will take a fifth. This player will take a quarter. This player will take a fifth. This player realises now that the other player only needs two turns to get the rest of their things and they need two and it's their turn so they'll keep going. This player now knows this player will win on the next shot because they'll be able to get four quarters which is a hole and they'll be able to trade for that. So they'll have to trade some amounts in to get a quarter so they might trade two fifths or maybe a fifth and a tenth which is 30% for this and a 20th. So if we do this, line them up and see, so these are already there. These are equal amounts. And so they can be traded. So we're getting rid of this and we're getting that. And now that means this player can't get the last quarter. And now they either need to trade backwards and go for another amount, or they need to trade for a half. If they trade for a half, they know probably the next turn this person will trade for a half. So there's probably no point getting a half at this point they might trade one of their quarters and if you're trading backwards you may only trade one tile backwards to get a smaller amount when you're trading up to get bigger tiles you can trade as many things as you want to make it equal to that tile you're trading for so this we're trading backwards a quarter for two eighths this person may also do the same or they may just pick up another fifth since that's a big tile and they're getting close now because each of these is worth 20%. So 20, 40, 60 plus another 25 plus another 5. So they're 90% at the moment. So the next turn they would win if they pick that up. So this person might see that. They'll trade for a fifth and a twentieth. They're the same amount. And so that disappears. And now they can't get that last fifth. So they might now trade back one of them for two tenths. And this player might trade or pick up an eighth because they have eighths in their possession. This player would pick up another tenth. And now, next turn, they should be able to trade for the whole tile. We've got 20, 40, 
50, 60, 70 percent plus 25. So we're on 95 plus another five is a whole. And we'll show you in a second. This person would pick up the eighth tile. They've now got a hole as well, but this person got there first and they'll line it up to show their opponent that they've made a hole. And once they've done that, they can take the one tile and that's it, the end of the game. Sometimes players may not get to a hole and if the game ends with nobody making the hole, then the person with the highest total would win. So there you can see that all of that equals one hole. And so this person trades it all in, takes the tile and they have got the one.